Glucose is the major fuel that provides energy for our body. It is essential for normal functioning of cells. However, when glucose levels become too high in the blood, it can actually damage our cells. Let's examine how this happens. In most cells, a hormone produced by the pancreas called insulin is responsible for letting glucose into the cells from the blood. Insulin binds to insulin receptors on cells, which send signals to activate GLUT4, a glucose transporter. When GLUT4 is activated, it migrates from inside the cell to the cell surface, allowing glucose to enter into the cell. However, in insulin-deficient patients, or in patients who have insulin resistance, GLUT4 stays inactive inside the cell, and glucose is trapped in the blood. Endothelial cells, or cells lining our blood vessels, have another type of glucose transporter called GLUT1. Unlike GLUT4, GLUT1 always stays on the surface of the cell and does not need insulin for activation. Therefore, in diabetic patients who lack insulin, glucose is kept out of the normal cells, but become concentrated in endothelial cells. In the absence of insulin or in the presence of insulin resistance, like in most type 2 diabetic patients, glucose enters the endothelial cell and is modified into another molecule which cannot be used for energy. As this abnormally modified glucose increases in concentration in the cell, it attaches to the basement membrane, enlarging its pores. The basement membrane lies below the endothelial cells and prevents proteins such as albumin from the blood from entering the surrounding tissues. When its pores are enlarged, proteins from the blood leak into the surrounding tissues. Water follows the protein into the tissues and presses back against the blood vessels, causing them to constrict. When this happens in the eye, for example, the constructed blood vessels deliver less oxygen to surrounding nerve cells. In response, the oxygen-starved nerve cells produce growth hormones that stimulate the growth of new vessels to nourish the retina. However, these new vessels are thin and can break easily, causing blood leakage into the eye, which can obscure one's vision. As time passes, scar tissues can form that completely block the vision, causing blindness. This is one of many ways high blood glucose can be harmful to your body. It is therefore important to maintain a healthy level of glucose in your blood. One way to do so is to maintain a healthy diet. Foods with high fat and sugar content can cause extreme elevations in blood glucose while a diet with high fiber consisting of vegetables and whole grain foods can maintain a healthy level of glucose in your blood. This will reduce your risks of getting diseases that are associated with high blood glucose.